Hey guys, welcome back to Jesse Clark's Small Business Resource YouTube channel, and I hope everyone had a great year. Uh, welcome to 2021. This is my first video uh, back for the year, and today I want to talk to you about how I run my accounting software using free two third-party applications. Uh, in the past, I've tried Wave Apps and some other CRMs where I paid either too much money or it was, they were just uh, too busy, too involved, um, very confusing, and it did a lot more than I needed just to simply track my re expenses, track my income, and give myself a controlled profit loss statement for the end of the year. Using these programs, Zapier, Airtable, and Stripe as my payment processor, I've been able to control what I'm looking at and what the outputs and what the reports are I'm creating. And I've had a, a lot of success with it and it's very simple. So stick around and uh, I'm gonna break this down for you. Maybe you'll find it that's something you wanna use for 2021. Okay, so a couple things you wanna do first before you get started. You need to set up a free Airtable account. Uh, I have the link actually to this base uh, down in the description. So you can actually click on it, it'll open up and it'll ask you to set up an account or log in before you use it. If you already have an Airtable account, you can again just click on it and it'll open up into your um, own Airtable account and you can use this base that I've already set up for you. So we've got income, expenses, profit loss, and then I've just made another tab here for my quarterly taxes that um, you can easily just keep track of those for yourself. Okay, so we'll come back to this, but for now, just make sure you set up an Airtable account before you click on the link in the description. Next thing is you need to go into Zapier. Uh, you need to create a Zapier account. And again, this is free and you can use there, there's some limitations, but for what we're doing today, it's it's all free. So you can see I've already got one set up here under Stripe is my payment processor, but you can use PayPal, Square, whatever one that you are using, you can use it in the same idea. Today we're gonna show you how to set it up using Stripe. Okay, so you can see here it's Stripe through Airtable. Now what I've done is I've created a new uh, base here, Business Financing for YouTube just as an example. So when I set up the new Zap, what they call it, um, I'll be able to use this new base without sharing any of my data, okay? So once you have those set up, we can begin by just going here to create a Zap. So I'm just gonna search here for, let's just go Stripe. Now, choose an event. I'm going to choose a new charge. So you, these are all the options you have, but for what we're doing is when I get a new charge, I want it to pull Airtable to pull that charge and put it into the proper fields inside Airtable. So new charge, continue. Choose an account, I'm gonna choose this one. Save and continue. Include failed charges. I'm going to do um, false on that. Let's test it. And you can see I've just got a simple uh, charge that came through. Okay, so if you have, it should pull any recent um, transactions from your payment processor once you link that up. And if you are going, if this is the first time you're setting it up, it may ask you to go in and request the API um, set up on the payment processor side. So you'll have to work that out before you connect the two, before you set up your payment processor app inside Zapier. So once you have that, we're going to continue. Okay. So the next one I'm going to do is just click Airtable here, and I'm going to choose Create a Record. I'm going to choose the account, Airtable, and you're just walking through the steps. Okay, the base I'm going to choose is this new one I just created, Business Financing for YouTube. So again, when you're setting up the app for the first time in Zapier, it's going to walk you through the instructions on how to connect um, Airtable into 
uh, Zapier. So you can have, so uh, Zapier will be able to read those programs. So choose, um, we're gonna use income because I'm gonna bring in my charges, um, my transactions into the income tab that you saw inside Airtable right here. So once it reads those, you're gonna see how these tabs up here are going to line up inside Zapier. So income, so that you're just gonna click on the field there and drop it down. So the name, we could just do billing details for this person, amount charged, $49, date. We can show more options, just come through here. It looks like I have it right, created format. Description, you're gonna use maybe invoice number or transaction description right here where it says the invoice. Transaction fee. So this is really nice because um, I'll show you how you can set up what actually was charged to minus the fee to what actually was deposited. So that's gonna be good to know to keep track of that data. Total deposited, again, you can see $49 was charged minus the transaction fee. You can leave this blank or you can actually go into what was deposited and it would do that for you. See if I can find that. But I'm gonna just for this sake, I'm gonna leave it blank because I already have in the template a formula set up for you. So transaction type, rewards, um, all of this. So that's really all the information you need. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue. So you can see it has it all set up here. These are all optional fields that are empty because I don't care about um, fulfilling those right now. So test and continue. A record was sent to Airtable. So if it was a success, it's going to tell you that it was a success. I'm going to now go back here to business, um, my base here, and you can see, boom, it automatically brought this in. Okay. So um, I have the amount charged. I have the date, the transaction fee, the description, and then the total deposited. If I double click on this, I already created a formula for you where it was amount charged minus the transaction fee, and then that leaves this right here. So as you get through all of your transactions, you'll see a total here. What's beauty about Airtable is you can go in and you can group them, okay, by let's say date, amount charged, whatever you would like. Or you can go in and filter. So at the end of, um, every month to do my profits loss, you're going to go in and you could say, I want date for is on or before, exact date on or before January 31st, date on or after January 1st, and it's gonna filter exactly what the, you have, what the um, criterion you put in here. So you can see how you can get accurate records there. Now, let's move on to expenses. So what I like to do is I don't have a lot of expenses through the month. So what I do at the end of every month is I will put, um, I'll just go through my bank statements and I'll just, I may have 20 expenses that I boom, just put them in there. I like to do that because I have control over what I'm putting in there. Another way you can do it is just simply importing this. Um, you can download a CSV file inside your bank, um, your online banking account, and then import that into here, which is, and it'll give you all of the information you need as well. So however you wanna do that. Now when I go into profit loss, profit loss, so what I'll do is let's just say January now at the end of this month, I'll put January. I'm gonna go here after I've made my filters, I'm gonna get down here and the total deposited, I'll put 47.28, I'm gonna put 47.28. Now let's go back to the expenses here. Let's say I just spent um, hosting, it's recurring monthly, 
so I can filter that out and track my expenses that way. Uh, let's say that came out on the 7th. Uh, let's just say this is a hosting. I scroll over here. The purchase amount. Um, you're either brought this in through a CSV file or you're just going through your bank bank statements and you're just bringing, transferring that information over here. So let's just say it's going to be 50 bucks. What I have here is I've gone straight from my um, accounting software and all my write-offs. I just pull the categories from my software put them and created them in here. So now I can say this is um, subscriptions hosting and this came out of my checking account. Okay. So now I've got my expenses all right here. So now when I bring them over, it'll total up down here. Except my expenses, I'm going to put $50. So you can see this is automatically set up for you that I lost $2.72 last month or this month. So now I can um, track this for January all the way to December and it's laid out for me. I can give literally this, share this table or this base with my accountant or if you're doing your own taxes, you have it all set up for you. Here you have it. Just with uh, your own payment processor, Zapier and Airtable, you can, you can create a complete controlled environment for your uh, income and your expenses that you can track easily and automatically. Make sure you click subscribe below, click the bell notification so you don't miss my next video. Hope everyone has a great week and see you next time.